Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel and today I am here to give you guys my reaction, sort of, to Hell of a Boss episode 6. Now the reason why I say sort of is because I already recorded this reaction once, so I already watched the episode, but I ran into some problems and I had to throw that uh, video away, so I'm here recording it again. So technically this is sort of my second viewing to this episode, but I'll still watch it with you guys and I'll still give you guys my thoughts as the episode goes on. So. Let's go ahead and watch the episode again, and hopefully I won't run into any problems. Okay. So... Right there! This was the first sighting. They are definitely from hell. They must <laughs> use this dark magic to cross over into our world. And they seem to be killing specifically targeted people. Okay, so my only question is how the hell did they manage to get all of this footage in any way? Because considering what's been go happening... Okay, for, wait, hold on a minute. Is one of the moments... Did any of them take place in one of the more recent episodes? No? Okay, because that definitely wouldn't have made any Always sense. Always attack at random. All over the country. There's no way to predict where they'll show up next. Ah, oh, well... That's convenient. Very convenient. Remember, we can't be seen. Pardon my words, sir. But you're okay, so again, I, I was wondering this when I watched it the first time. Why do not? Why do they not have human disguises? Like, why are they still going out there like this? I mean, if they know that it's kind of like against the uh, the rules to, you know, be seen in public, then why would they even risk this? I said. Just your dick sucking lips, Moxie. Oh. Yeah. Luna, close it! Wait, no! I Yeah. Moxie! Wait, just shoot them. Dude, you've got a gun. Shoot them. You tuxedo wearing box. <laughs> I'd like to see the suits and corporate so, loses now. How the hell did they shock badass. them? Super badass. Blitz was using a total of zero euphemisms, innuendos, or swears. That means it was serious, which means I don't open it until... Open the fucking portal now! See? They aren't here! It smells like they went this way. Come on, let's find the dumbass twins. Finally awake, huh, little fella? Your partner has been for a while now. Look, shitbag, it takes a lot to keep me down, all right? I took a fuck ton of tranquilizers in the college I dropped out of. Also, I've been strapped nipple first to a car battery, so I... Oh, okay. Tell us, demon scum. Who do you Didn't need to know that. Satan? How did you get to our world from the afterlife? Why are you killing humans? When did you show up here? Okay, I'm gonna stop you right there, bitch. First of all, we just woke up from a very nasty shock. And I'm still feeling fucking woozy, so I'm gonna request you fetch us some coffee before we get into this. I mean, everyone gets coffee in shitty movies with scenes like this, am I right? I want <laughs> something iced, bitch, Mox. I'll have a Neapolitan cappuccino, more capitan chino. Make sure it's got no more than four ounces of milk. The beans won't have the right texture otherwise. And make sure they spell my name correctly on the cup. They always put Foxy or Roxy. I hate that. If you can't handle that, I'll have a So he's been getting them from Starbucks. Please use soy milk with two blonde shots, affogato and ristretto. I'd also love three vanilla pumps at the very bottom, then add the coffee after, then add... Enough! We aren't getting you his coffee! Wow, I was getting massive douche chills just there, Mox. Congrats. If you have to, 
We are willing to resort to torture methods to get answers out of you nasty hell beasts. When you say torture, do you mean physical or psychological? Physical seems counterproductive. We've psychological, to much better. And to the pain. And you would have no way of knowing what was true. Or we might like it too much. And yeah, you've got exactly. a whole new thing to deal with. What do you mean by that? Ah, you're stupid, huh? I could work with stupid daddy likey dummy. <laughs> Mm, it wasn't really all that funny. Come on, take it easy. Yeah! You are the ones at our mercy. It's hard to resist. I'm really sorry. I mean, considering your approach thus far, you've had us tied here for, what, hours? And you have even had us confirm what exactly we are. What are you? I'm a Virgo. Ah! Oh, smart guy, huh? One more quip out of you and we'll shut you up. Oh, getting cakey. <laughs> we aren't playing any of our demon kinks. I mean, that's what it sounded like back there, you sicko. Mm. Please don't give them ideas, sir. Why not? I know the shit you're into. Stop! We are not getting kicky with you. Calm down, one. Don't let these monsters get to you. Hey, aren't we going to get our phone call, bitch? <laughs> well, that entirely depends. Who are you going to call? Hmm? Ghostbusters. Begging her oh. for a fat time. Nice try, demon. His fat mom is dead! Wow. <laughs> Dorks. Is this where they ended up? I think so. Fuck, this looks intense. Okay, I want you to keep in mind, you can see the security cameras, right? And you saw they noticed the security cameras. Keep it, keep that in mind. How are we gonna get in? Lift me up to that van. Also, one thing that I did like and did really like about the episode is... Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry if you heard that. Uh, one thing that I did like about the episode is we actually get to see Luna do something. Damn, you're pretty agile for an old lady. I'm like five years older than you. As opposed to before where she just sits on the side. Hey, hey, let's just leave them here until they feel like talking. Also, couldn't they just use their horns? To, yeah, you can see. Just use your horns to cut the ropes, dude. Come on. Slip up and we'll get a chance to get out. Let's just keep fucking with them until they get so frustrated they stop thinking clearly. It usually works. Hmm. So the demons want to play games, huh? Well, we could play games. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh -huh, gas bitch juice. I'm just worried about Millie. She'll be on her way by now, I'm sure. Ugh, she'll be fine, Moxie. It would take a roided-up hippo to take down that woman when she's upset. We've never dealt with the human government before. She's in danger. Uh, do you ever honestly shut up about Millie? It's always, oh, how's Millie? I can't tonight. I'm hanging with Millie. I'm so worried about Millie. And she's always five fucking feet away from you. It's pathetic. That was oddly personal. Yeah, you're right. I don't know why the fuck I just let my gut spill like that. Sir, they're filling this room with something. Fuck. What the hell is this? I think it's some kind of airborne truth-telling serum. Oh, you just guessed that's what it is? Well, uh, just ask me something specific I wouldn't normally tell you. Okay, uh, does Millie ever peg you? Sometimes. Wait! Ew! Fuck! Why that? <laughs> I knew it. Well, your suit! I swear if I start seeing- if I start seeing fan art because of this episode. Wait until you hear which musical. It was awful, Moxie. It was about ugly, horny cats. Yep. <laughs> I've said so many lies. <laughs> this is gonna be a good night. <coughs> Damn it, Moxie. This is all your fault. How is this my fault? And you notice the art style change? God, this smells awful. What's that music? 
Is that you? Is this a prank? Because I swear to say- It Satan... is no prank, bitch! Hey! Why do you sound like that? Because you, my precious little bitch boy- Stop it, are sir! Are tripping balls! No, what? How could this be? I've never tried acid shrooms or DMT. It's a bad trip. Oi, Gavalt! Of course, Blitz, this would be your fault. My lungs are full of honesty. Would you promise me that? Also, you I'm trying die. to avoid the uh, copyright. Yes, Not trying to divulge too much, but I'm in too deep. So, first of all, fuck you! This is just typical. Well, two can play at this game of dismay, because if you're here causing frustration, I'm torturing you in your hallucination. Okay, this is honestly one of my fa this is honestly one of my favorite parts of the episode where we actually get to get a deep dive into their minds, and also again, yes, I have to pause every now and then for copyright. Again, more fan art. More fan art. Such as myself. Are you Why? I may have enough of it one day as well. Stop fucking talking, all of you! It's true. You've been a jackass, but it's soon true. as we're back as ourselves, I, I will be, be a better, better friend than I was before. Be better at speaking my mind. And together, together we can begin to become. Is, is there any chance the uh, show could just stick with this art style? Because I'm not going to lie, I... It's kind of reminding me of old Disney. Uh, 
okay, this is this moment that we're about to see is one of my. I, I have two favorite moments of this episode. This is one of them. Love everything else, but two moments stood out to me as this, and then there's one that's about to come up soon. Do you remember what you said to me after my first day with the company? Not really. I remember. You told me I did a good job and that you were proud to work with me. I feel like you wanted to say something more judgmental, but you said that because I needed it. And it helped. Look, I'm hard on you because I know what you're capable of, Mox. You care too much about what everyone thinks, except for me, because, you know, my opinion is correct. But just keep doing a good job, okay? You shoot and kill good. You escape things easy. You can be strategic and cold-blooded when you need to. And don't expect any more compliments. I'm maxed out. Thank you, sir. You know my name. Use it. Thanks, Blitz. There's my Millie! Impressive work, Mills. How'd you get here all by yourself? Mmm, she wasn't alone. Looney! Get your asses out here before more fuckers show up! See? Okay. I'll, I'll get into it later. Love it. Absolutely love it. Okay, I'm sorry. I just, I, I, I gotta talk about this for a second. Do you see what we're seeing here? Everything that we've been seeing up until this point. This is coming from an independently funded project. And the fact that it puts 90% of the shit that we're seeing coming out of actual studios to shame is honestly insane to me. The fact that those studios who have millions of dollars put into their projects, the fact that none of them can make something as good as this honestly pisses me off. And it's not just this, it's everything we've been seeing this episode, especially the, uh, the, the Blitz and uh, Moxie acid trip. You know what? No, they'll, 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 they'll get to it. Give it a second. No problem, Millie, Billy. Who wants some quality time with Daddy? See, that's true. That's what I've been wondering. Why, why do none of them have guns? Why do they all have swords, spears, shurikens? Why are none of them using guns? The Edo period was badass, and you know it. Well, yeah, but... Hold this. Oh yeah, getting hard. Hold this, motherfucker. 
everyone okay? Woo! How's that for demon scum? Oh shit! Come on, fam, let's blow this cocksicle joint. Don't dogs have night vision, or uh, is that just cats? This weapon tip dry, and now we're out of bad assery. <laughs> you demons are going anywhere now. <laughs> okay, I talked about how I had two favorite moments of the episode. You saw one of them. This is the this is the second one. Maybe it's the book. Oh, I'm fine, Stolas. Mm, good. How the fuck did you get caught by humans? Are you little creatures not being careful up here? You know, if you get in trouble, I get in trouble. We don't want that. They caught us off guard, Your Highness. Yeah, you can unclench your bird foot, Stolas. It's not gonna happen again, okay? Luckily for you, most don't believe the word of the demon-obsessed lunatics. They are seen as kooks. <laughs> kooks. Such a silly word. Now, let us all return. Yes, please. I'd like to get... Okay, so this is interesting. So he doesn't need the book to uh, use his magic. Back to the correct hellhole as soon as possible. Am I going to get any thank you for the rescue, Bitsy? Well, I suppose you should. Want me to fuck your brains out tonight? Very much so. All right, but you're keeping quiet or I'm using those bear... Please do. Okay. We'll pause here for a sec because there's so much to talk about. So, ignoring the uh, the eroticism at the end, one thing that I loved about this, all of this shit, is I have been wanting to see exactly what these higher tier demons could do. And it's not just them, it's kind of the same thing with the overlords. And you know the go uh, the Ars Goetia demons, and of course the princes. I have been wanting to see what they can do for such a long time, and we finally got a glimpse as to what they can do. And I just I thought it was mwah, beautiful. And then all that stuff happened in the end, which just birthed. Like I, I can already feel a million different pieces of fan art just being born from that moment alone. And now we're about to get into probably my one criticism, or big criticism of the episode. So what now? What now? We finally got the evidence we needed to be taken seriously. Dude, you saw what the guy just did. Why the fuck would you still be messing with this? If I was him, I'd just leave it alone. Bitch still has no. blood coming out of her mouth. Okay. 
this is my one criticism of the show. So they went into a building knowing that there are security cameras. And considering they've made such a big deal of keeping a low profile when they're in the human world, did none of them think that, hey, maybe it's a good idea to erase the, uh, the actual video footage of us doing what we do of us existing? None of them thought, hey, maybe we should get rid of it? And I just, I, to me, that just seems a little bit weird. I, I don't, I don't know why they, why they, why they didn't just, why they didn't just, you know, at least destroy the building to get rid of any evidence, you know, destroy all the uh, the video footage. And also, I do think it was a little bit convenient how they killed everyone except for these two. I mean, they're the ones who caught them. You'd think they'd be the first ones on the list to die, and yet they. I don't know, it, just, it just feels like to me they were just kept alive for plot convenience. I don't know. Just So anyway, uh, I, there's just one thing I want to find out. Who did the voice for these two? No, not... Uh, Michael... Uh, I, I don't recognize any of them. So I think that's it. Yeah, okay, so that was the video. So like I said, guys, I do apologize that you're not getting my initial original reaction to... The episode, like I said, I did run into some problems while recording it the first time, so I had to throw it away, so I had to record it again. I do hope that's good enough for you, and I'm hoping that it's not going to happen for the next episode, whenever that does come out. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please remember to leave a like, share the video, subscribe if you haven't, ring the bell for notifications, and don't just do that for my video, guys. Go to this episode and watch it for yourself as many times as you want. Just show them as much support as you can. I'll leave a link to the video and to Vivzy Pop's YouTube channel in the description box down below, as I always do, so you can go and show them some support. Anyway, with that being said, I hope you remember to stay safe, take care of yourselves, and catch you on the next video. Bye for now.